I am the terror in the night who the criminals fear. Really, man? You want to do a Dark Knight character build guide? I'm all in for it. Let's do it. I'm Nerdarchist Ted. I'm Nerdarchist Dave. Welcome to Nerdarchy. For nerds, by nerds. Now let's do this before the uh, Dark Knight gets us for spilling all their secrets. All right, so today we're doing a Batman build. And we've done, I'm pretty sure we've probably done one before, way back when. We had less options to look at before, and we also didn't do it as a character build guide. Um, as always, when we do character build guides, a couple things you need to know. One, there will be a character sheet down in the description. You can find a link to it for D&D Beyond um, to take a look at that. If you, I think you might have to be logged in to look at it. Um, but no big deal. Just sign up for a free account and you can take a look. Also we'll have the character build guide, which will be over on the DMs guild, which you can download for pay what you want, which is free or a million dollars is pay what you want. And as always, when we do these videos, they're sponsored by D&D Beyond. So it's only fair that we mention that. Go check out D&D Beyond and power up your games. You'll find those links in the description. If you're looking for another way to help out the channel, you can always head over to Patreon to support us there. That'll give you a way to help keep us making videos like this and the articles over at nerdarchy.com. As a special thank you, we create 5e content for DMs and players alike every month. You're going to receive drop-in encounters, races, spells, feats... Magic items, print and play magic item cards that we turn them into sometimes, drop in encounters, maps that we use in our own games, a chance to game with Nerdarchy, and so much more. There will be a link down in the description, plus, plus up here in one of these cards, for a free download so you can kind of get a sample of some of the stuff that we're doing over there and check it out. All right, so if we're going to build Batman, we have to look at all, all of the options. And, you know, there's going to be a disclaimer here. We know that Batman is super powerful, has got amazing stats and amazing sets of abilities. We're working within the confines of the D&D rule set, not a superhero game. Uh, so while we think you can get the fit and the flavor of the character... This ain't Batman. <laughs> yeah, we've done a Wolverine build, and that was way easier than Batman, in all honesty. Um, so, you know, so we're going to get as close as we can within the rules for building a character from level one. So with races, I don't think there's anything outside the, the realm of human that you could put Batman in. There might be some cool race features that others might get that might fit well for Batman, but I just don't think it's going to fit the flavor of who that is. So we're sticking with human. Yeah, not not enough. So that's, that's really the only option. But when it comes to class options, oh my gosh. It felt like Batman could be every class, right? Except for maybe Barbarian. Uh, I mean, even some of the spellcasting things, even though Batman is not a magic user, a lot of the things that he does could fit into, you know, oh, well, it's part of the suit or part of a gadget or what whatnot. Uh, so, like, even those are, are there. And, you know, you mentioned Barbarian. There's times that Batman goes goes crazy and, you know, some of the stories, depending upon what, what particular book you're reading, and he's beating the criminals to death. So, like... Well, not really. Batman doesn't kill. He's got one rule. Well, right. <laughs> well, close to. I think, I think there was one book where Batman snapped, and that particular, you know, storyline, Barbarian would fit, <laughs> you know. So, uh, Artificer, Fighter, Monk, Paladin, Oath of Vengeance... Uh, Ranger and Rogue to me seem like all the classes that kind of stand out as great races, or not great races, but great classes to build uh, a Batman character from. Yeah, e easily though those fit uh, very well for Batman. For backgrounds, we've got a number that we feel kind of fit within the, the realm. So we've got Charlatan, City Watcher, Investigator. We've got Courtier, we've got Noble, and we've got Folk Hero. Yeah, I mean, I, at any given point, you know, in the Batman, like, uh, history, like, all these things kind of work. Uh, I mean, Ted pushed back on Investigator City Watch, but I'm like, world's greatest detective. It's right in the title. <laughs> and while that's apropos, I felt like that's more after he, like, takes on the mantle of Batman. Uh, and, you know, that is just, you know, it's too little too late. Yeah. Right? You know, I think I think that the aspect of who Bruce Wayne is, is where we have to draw, draw on for our background. Uh, Charlton, I, I felt like kind of works because he's got more than one identity mm -hmm. between Batman and Bruce Wayne, you know, and, you know, and, and then some of the other ones for, you know, obvious reason, the courtier kind of like playboy, the socialite billionaire that, you know, Bruce Wayne is noble, you know, rich guy. <laughs> right. And then also folk, folk hero, like he had that traumatic event happen in his past that caused him to become, 
you know, Batman. So right. it's like any one of those would really work. And and again, like we mentioned with the classes, there are other backgrounds that might fit in, but we felt these were the, the shining stars amongst the long laundry list of, of background options that are out there. I'm gonna, next up, we have our stats. I'm not going to lie. We didn't get anywhere close. Like, Batman <laughs> has straight 18s, maybe 20s. I don't know. Like, he's just good at everything. And uh, within the parameters of what we're working with, we tried to encapsulate, like, what we think the Batman does the best. Right. So we, we had to look at this, you know, from the, you know, a stat array or a point by situation so that this is balanced against the rest of the party. As Dave says, you know, the, the maximum uh, stats of this guy would be apropos considering everything that, that, that Batman does. So for strength, we're looking at a 10, for dexterity, a 13, and a 14 constitution. For intelligence, 13, wisdom, 13, and charisma, we went with 11. So... Uh, Batman has no dump stats, just so you know, <laughs> which I think we already knew that, right? Right. So, like, while these things are a little bit lower on the threshold, you know, we obviously went with a point by, we went with humans, so, like, we know that we're going to round off some of these things, and we're going to do our best to bump up those things that are mo more appropriate for Batman. So speaking of that human that we're going to take, we're going to take that and we're going to take our plus ones to Dex and, Dex and Wisdom. And then we're going to take uh, the Observant feet as our human feet. And that'll give us a plus one to Intelligence. So now, you know, now that'll pump those three steps up to 14. So now we have, I believe, four 14s, an 11 and a 10. Yeah, that, that's a, a pretty nice, solid starting character. While it's not, you know, the creme de la creme that Batman is, we're working on it. And we also took the investigation skill uh, for being a human as well. That seemed kind of important to being the Batman. <laughs> being uh, the best investigator, or world's greatest. Yeah, you kind of need that. So for a background, we went with Courtier. I felt that that socialite angle was the most apropos, even more so than noble, um, be because it's it's not about like you know the money. It's about the connections that Bruce Wayne has, and that that I felt fit more with what that is. Uh, but this is going to get insight, persuasion, two languages which we chose the most common of Elven and Dwarven. Right. As a human, we took Gnomish. We just took the languages that we felt would make him the most metropolitan. Sure. So next up is class. And we're going to start with Rogue because above everything else, uh, Batman is an expert style character. So uh, we want him to have a lot of skills and to be good at them. With that, we're going to take Athletics acrobatics perception and stealth so with, with that first level we're going to wind up getting all of the all of the the rogue class skills but most notably the expertise which we're going to take stealth and investigation so uh we're not going to stop there for rogue. we're going to take one more level so we can get to level two and get our cutting action so we can do more stuff in any given round for third level, uh, we're going to take our first level in Fighter. This is going to give us uh, our second win, but most notably it's going to give us our fighting style, which we're going to take unarmed fighting uh, so that we can be able to punch for a die eight as long as we're not holding a shield or another weapon. Yeah, Batman is really known for un his un uh, unarmed combat and his martial arts, and this seemed like the best way of getting it without becoming a monk. Now, I will, we'll, we'll put in this disclaimer. Uh, we as Nerdarchy are not a fan of this particular fighting style, but it is official uh, and it is therefore the best choice to, for you to play Batman and get the most, uh, you know, bang, bang for your punch uh, and allows you to skip a whole lot of extra monk levels to get to that D8 punch. And when Ted says Naraka, he means Ted. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm not as angry about it. Okay, well, then so... fine. Ted, I'm not happy with it uh, because you basically like, oh, one level of fighter, you're so much better at punching than monks. Yeah. So fourth and fifth level, we're going Artificer. And the reason we want Artificer is because we want to get to infusions. And even the magical trinket is the idea that you can, like, make these things. And they might not do much. They might just, like, make sounds or or smells or a visual thing. But still, it's a cool, like, uh, object that you can make. And Batman has the utility belt. He's pulling all kinds of things out of that. And then when you get to, you know, second level when you're getting your infusions, then, you know... We took the ability to make four different magic items, goggles of night, a uh, bag of holding, rope of climbing, and an alchemy jug. So all of this is kind of like, you know, it, that weird thing that Batman needs, he can absolutely have on them, but, you know, between us. And also, you know, getting spells, you know, uh, absorb elements is going to help Batman a lot when he's trying to mitigate damage 
or you know Featherfall, which is like him gliding with his cl uh, ca cape and cow that he does all the time. Yeah, and and we all know that Batman uses all of his gadgets and things whenever he's out and about doing stuff. And it, it does say within the Artificer to go ahead and fuel your spells through the devices and the things that you make. Uh, so that absolutely fits Batman, this tinkerer, this master inventor with all of the, the gadgets and things. So this, I, I feel, fits that, that gadgeteer element of Batman perfectly. So now we're going to go with two levels of Ranger. Again, Ranger is another one of those classes that, especially if you're using the optional rules, which we are, makes it more of a skill expert class. And also, you know, Batman hunts crime. He hunts villains. Well, the best hunter in the game is the Ranger. Indeed. Uh, going, going Ranger is going to give us access to a number of, you know, more interesting spells that are going to be able to be useful. Most notably is going to be Hunter's Mark. How, ma how many little trackers has Batman tossed on a villain that he then is able to like follow using his devices? And while devices might not necessarily be Ranger, devices are Artificer, which we've already got. So he's just flavoring these new sets of spells through his Artificer ability. We're going to get another skill. We're going to take survival. Batman's a survivalist. Also, we had a very select number of skills we could choose from. That one made the most sense to us. We're going to get a favorite enemy. We're going to take humanoid. We're going to take humans, specifically criminals, as well as orcs. Just because we have to make a second selection. Uh, you know, uh, so with that, that's going to give us another language, which will take orcs. So the the variant to Natural Explorer is Deft Explorer, Deft Explorer, and that is going to give us access to a couple of languages and an expertise. So we're going to take Giant and Halfling, and for our expertise, we're going to take Perception. So at this point, we're seventh level, and I believe we pretty much basically have made a Batman-esque character. Like... Batman is really tough. You you know you need all 12, 20 levels plus in order to truly get to Batman, but I think we've gotten pretty darn close. Level eight, we are going to go back to Fighter to grab that action surge. Where do we go from Fighter? So from here, we're going to go back to Rogue. Uh, you know, this is going to finally allow us to get access to a subclass. And for this one, we're going to take the Mastermind. Uh, we know that Bruce Wayne and Batman are super smart. So tying into all those, all those Mastermind class abilities is going to be very helpful for this particular character. The Mastermind is really good at making plans. Batman is really good at making plans. You know, a part of your cunning action now is to use the help action as a bonus action with range. Seems super cool. We're going to get a couple more um, tool sets that we're going to be able to use that, you know, seems to fit as well. We're going to get a Forger's kit. We're going to get a Disguise kit. And we're going to get Dragon Chest, which just makes sense because Batman is a strategist and a tactician. Uh, so we're going to take another level in a row going to, to level four. This is going to give us our first ASI. This is really far down, uh, but, you know, it's it's all worthwhile to get there. So we're going to take Skill Expert with our with our ASI when we take Rogue to level four. It's really far down the chain to be waiting for our first ASI, but it's worth it, you know, once we look at the final package. Uh, so we are, we're going to take Intimidation here and Expertise in it, as well as a plus one to Charisma. So all of a sudden we went from, you know, oh, I've got no modifier to all of a sudden, I am really scary when I want to be. Yeah, so, I mean, that puts us as a 10th level character, and I think that was, like, the finishing piece to create that Batman character, because criminals find him scary and terrifying, <laughs> and we needed that. So at 7th level, we're close, but 10th level, we really do have everything we need. So two more levels of Artificer. That's going to give us our subclass, our specialty. We're going to go with Alchemist. You know, Batman's also a scientist, uh, you know, beyond everything else he is as well that's going to get us there uh we're going to take that asi and we're going to increase our dexterity so this is only going to you know help help out our armor class as well as our to hit and damage so really useful for for that aspect from there we're going to take two more levels in ranger uh this is going to really begin to solidify uh the the, the presence of Batman's vanishing into shadows because we're going to take Gloomstalker uh, and this with the Umbral Sight is allow, allows you to disappear from dark vision. So when Batman steps back into shadows and is basically invisible, yeah, that's what that's what that is. Uh, we are going to get another ASI. We're going to pump that into our dexterity, getting, again, that, that same kind of useful bonus. I would also say Dread Ambusher is basically when Batman appears at first and onto any scene, getting that extra movement, the extra attack, the extra damage. 
he's an absolute terror, right? So like all that just plays into it. Absolutely. But I think the I think the umbral site is the is the real the real clutch, but all of it is useful. From here, we go fighter all the way because we just want to get as many SI ASIs as we possibly can because we are way behind on this. And also, you know, we want Batman to be tough. He's got to be able to take a punch and take a hit. So fighter works out really well. And uh, we're going to go with the fighter-y fighter of all the fighters. And that is the champion. It's going to increase our threat range as well as eventually give us remarkable athlete. You know, fight, Fighter was one of those things that there were definitely a number of choices that we could have gone with. We thought Battlemaster definitely worked with a number of the different maneuvers that, that they got. Uh, this would complicate the character with, with a lot of, lot of particular choices. So getting the improved uh, athletics as well as the improved crit range, we decided was a, a more solid choice for this particular build. Uh, for our ASIs, we're going to max out Dexterity to 20, and then we're going to increase our our constitution as well as our wisdom. So all in all, this this makes for a pretty solid build. Uh, you can do a lot, obviously. You know, this is very much a skill monkey character, uh, but you're going to be hitting hard. You're going to be hitting hitting a lot, and it, it's it's going to be fun the entire way through. So the question is, how to use a dark knight in your campaign as an NPC? So this is. This is really challenging because, you know, the aspect of, you know, Batman can be used in so many different ways. Uh, you know, if you want to stretch out the, you know, the the human aspect out of it, and, you know, this could just be like someone who's who's been around and maybe they, you know, they left on a on a venture and now they're now they're back to restore the legend. And, you know, you've got characters who are maybe on the shadery shady side of of the law uh this this could definitely be your solution to murder hobos your solution to murder hobos i was i was trying to be nice about it but yeah absolutely that was the direction i was going <laughs> they don't but but you know if you're if you're living up to the true standards of batman he won't kill the players he'll just beat the snot out of them and send them to the constabulary but also it could be a mentor style character that they need uh you know it could be a character like a mentor that sent you know batman has put together groups in the past mm -hmm. and sent them out on missions and adventures so you could literally just do that right you know batman inc is totally a thing right That's so true. uh so like you know this you could you could totally have this be uh like just represent it from the courtier side do we need do we need a sidekick background because Batman like creates these sidekicks and then they end up going off and starting groups. <laughs> that 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 could very well be a thing. Uh, but like you know, imagine you know taking this from like the either the Batman Beyond kind of situation where like he's older and he's training the you know the new recruit to go out and do things, or from you know the just the the earlier version, but. You know, maybe something's happened and he doesn't want to don the cowl anymore. So he's training others to go out and do stuff. All meanwhile, still under the guise of, you know, the wealthy nobleman or the wealthy courtier who was like, well, I will fund you and have you go out and help the world. But meanwhile, like, if shit needs to hit the fan, he's ready to, you know, put the armor back on and go out and do it. So there's definitely some ways to use this uh, style character as an NPC. The question is, how would you use it in your game? Have you made your own Batman? Have you played them in your games? Let us know. Share with the Nerdarchy community down in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to do those fun things like like, share, subscribe, even go ahead and smash on that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Quick reminder, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we drop new videos here on the channel. Come on back, but can't wait till then. No problem. We got you covered. Up here, you can find a card to... Wolverine D&D Character Build Guide. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.